Okay, hi everyone, Marianne here. Um, coming to you because I want to share with you this little video. I said that I was gonna talk over it for you so you can see what um, improvising with patterns looks like. So this is a video that I, um, I made just in the backyard the other day with um, some folks that were over for my coaching clients. And um, we have been working on patterns and we were working on improvisation and the principles of improvisational theater and how to improvise with our horses, how to use the principles of saying yes and when we're busy playing with our horses. So this is a little bit of eye training that might actually make a difference. So um, the, my goal here with, this is my horse, Jesse, and my goal with her was simply to um, warm her up a little bit because if you saw that little girl just right there, she wanted to ride. And so I just wanted to move her around a little bit because you see she's kind of going around with her ears back and she kind of doesn't look like she's an overly, being overly you know, pleasant at the moment. So I just wanted to move her a little bit. And I want you to notice how we're just kind of going slow and right. We're just doing it slow. I'm not doing anything fast. I'm just allowing her to, you know, move at her own pace. She just had a thought there that maybe she should go a little bit quicker. Um, there, I'm, this is a, a fallen leaf pattern that I'm working on right there. And um, I'm gonna go over this again uh, so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So right here, I'm asking her shoulder just to take her, her shoulder and move away. And then go around me in a half circle, disengage her hindquarters there, push, yeah and then ask her shoulder to go away and ask her to move a little bit quicker because she was kind of dragging and kind of looking snotty. So she decided she wanted to trot. So I was like, okay, if you want to trot, trot. But then you see, she didn't really want to trot. I mean, she acts like she can't trot. You know, she acts like she's broken and now she looks lame and she's like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. So I'm gonna keep her in the idea of the trot and I'm, there's just a lot of pressure I'm putting on her right now. Like I'm really looking at her. Now I'm releasing the pressure a little bit because you see how she's now moving. She's actually not looking lame. She's actually broken free a little. So I was like, okay, hey, come on in. And then I was drawing her to me, but she came in with that look on her face. So I was like, well, you head around and you go that way now. And then we'll see if we can't get her to break free a little bit there. And I'm going to talk to you. That was a little bit of telling style of movement there. I was a little firm with her. And then as soon as she breaks free and puts her ears forward and looks a little happier, then I'm going to release and change the game again. And then come back to a halt where she's like, oh, okay, good, finally. <laughs> All right, so I'm going, to do, I'm going to do that again. We're going to play that again. All right, so we're just... Um, starting here so come on over Jess thanks and my goal is to keep slack in the lead rope as much as I can you see my goat is there and so I'm gonna use him as my barrel to play I have a little figure eight around and he happily moves in my way so I'm gonna just use him again for the second half of the figure eight so we're just improvising right with a small child now come to me and circle around me just going slow, just shoulder to shoulder. I'm doing my best to just stay shoulder to shoulder. The slack is coming out of the lead rope because she's really going slow and I'm really wanting her to be a little freer than she is. But, you know, I'm going to keep dropping myself back to that saddling area, the area where the saddle is, and keep talking with her and just allow, just allow her to go in these circles around me with these soft changes of direction send away the haunches. So this is my fallen leaf pattern. So there you see how, I'm gonna just rewind that a second, right? I want you to watch that. So she's coming around. When she passes my belly button, I'm gonna send her hindquarters away. Haunches go. And now I want her shoulder to go out and away. And did you see how it did not go out and away? But her first step right here is toward me. It's not away from me, and then she falls in, and that's why she can't go and make a nice arc around me. So note to self, right? 
the last time I asked her to go, she fell in on me. So now, and you'll, you'll notice I swung my rope overhand. So back here. So watch this, right? Oops, wait a second. Let me back up a tad bit more. So I just softly swung my rope underhand, right? After she turned, so she's coming across my belly button, send her haunches away. I just softly went underhand and she fell in on her shoulder. So now I'm sending that haunches away again, overhand with a little more effort and overhand I'm saying shoulder go. It wasn't hard, but overhand is a little more overt and a little less subtle than that underhand. So again, I've noticed, what did she do? So did you see that? That time I went kind of underhand and then overhand just to say, yeah, and you need to go. So it was just adding a little pressure there. Oh, and she's got all matter of ideas. So there, did you see my rope got quicker? It didn't necessarily get harder. Let me show you that again. I want to go back to that spot right there. So here's where she's starting to trot and she's, you know, got all matter of issues with it. And so instead of going slow, watch my rope goes much quicker. Did you see that? My, the tail end of my rope when I was supporting it wasn't slow and deliberate, but it was quick and light. It got in there. It said, you need to go Missy. Yeah. And, and all of that, all of me looking at her there, that is a lot of pressure for her. And watch when I release the pressure. Yeah, see my body language is now going a little more forward. Yeah, and I'm able to say, all right, good. Say there, I look forward and release. Okay, come on in, draw, change, change. And look at that look and you go. Did you see that look? Let me see if I can zoom in there and show you guys that look. Let me see if I can get back to it again. I don't know if I can. Let me see where I get to. Oh, that went really far. Let me see what I can do with these things. Oh, every five seconds. Oh, cool. All right. So we're going to see this part here. So that was that half overhand and then that overhand. Now I'm going to ask her to go ahead and pick up the trot. And you see like she's whining and complaining there. Oh my goodness. I can't possibly go forward. And then she's like lame and she can't go and see all, me all the while. I'm very telling the slack is out of the rope. Like you need to go. And that here was that quick touch right there. Good. And she's starting now to break free a little bit there. See, she's starting to be more rhythmical. And she's starting to just say, hey, I should just go. Good. Nice. Nice release. Come on in. And then that look right there said, yeah, you go away. And not only that, but I swung my rope overhand twice. And there, two more times, right? Yeah, you go. I don't want you looking at me that way. Good girl. Good. And now she's broken free. So we're going to release out of that, which means we're going to walk away and do something different. And that's what I was looking for right there. So I want to go back five seconds there. So we released out of that. And you see my effort and her effort. We mirrored one another there, right? My effort said, come on. And her effort did the same thing. Watch. Send away that hindquarters and bring that front end across. And she's looking kind of crabby there, but I wanted to stop. And then she was good with that too. And I felt like she was probably safe to ride at that point. So that's what we did. Okay, good. So I hope that makes some uh, sense for you guys. I hope the little dissection actually helps you to see what there is to see. See all the little nuances, all the little parts of it. I'll zoom in a little and then we'll just go one more time and then I'll just allow you guys to see. She's just got one fly boot on because her, the flies were kind of tearing up her little, her little fetlock joint there. So I just said, she just has one fly boot on. Here's where I'm using my moving figure eight targets, improvising with what's in the space. So around each barrel, then around me, that's a, if you've, well, you don't know, but if you've been following any of my um, pattern patterns, that's one of the patterns right there. A nice, soft change of direction to soft loops. You see how quiet I am here? I'm going so slow and so quiet. And that changes so much later on when she brings up her attitude and her energy. just softly send the haunches away 
Note to self, there's where she's falling in on the shoulder. All right, no need to get on her about it, but I'm gonna pay attention. And next time ask bigger, say, hey, go. See, but it, I wasn't hard, right? I was bigger because it was a more overt and overhand, but I wasn't hard. Send the haunch away now. I remember what happened last time here. So let me see what there is to do. Oh, nice and soft. She took herself away. Good. And then allow her to, tr to trot because she, she wanted to. Like if you could see earlier, she had a want to trot. And it's like, yeah, you go. Good. And she's trying, right? So you see, I'm persistent, but I'm not mean and I'm not mad and I'm not heavy. I am definitely telling her more than asking her, but I'm not being mean. And there's a big allow, like she's starting to go, so I don't need to do anything. I can just let her go. But just my gaze is keeping pressure on her. So in the moment I take my gaze away, she feels the pressures come off and she's able to do something different. And then that look is why I sent her away, but she's already feeling a little bit better about it, right? Until there, right? Oh, you go. Now, if I were going to, you know, if I were going to really ride her and spend more time with her, or if this was any exercise other than what I was actually doing with it, I would spend more time in these circles down here until her ears really came forward and she really settled into the idea. Jesse and I have been together for 17 years, so it's not like she doesn't know who I am or know what I want. All right, I'm going to stop sharing you guys. So I hope that makes a difference. Love to hear your love to hear your comments. Um, below, talk to me. What do you see? How does it help? Does it help? Okay, bye. Marianne Brewer here. Bye.